Hey everyone, this is Michael here from GameGravy.com, and um, tonight, it's kind of late, it's midnight, but it's actually past midnight, it's 12.07 here Eastern Time, and that means today is October 7th, and guess what? I am officially allowed to do a live Let's Play of Alien Isolation, and I am doing it on a PlayStation 4. Um, here you will see... I already kind of went through the beginning intro, movie, and all that good stuff, and my first task was to get dressed. Um, and I just did. I haven't done anything else yet, so I could show everybody what to do. Uh, in this, you see these little emergency phone booths throughout the game. This will actually get you to be able to save. You just walk up to it, and you press X, and it will save. Other than that, controls are your L1 button. You get to peek around corners, um, like kind of like this. I'm kind of doing it a little crudely, but you walk up to a corner, hold L1, and you kind of peek around it. Uh, L2 aims and focuses, which we don't have a motion tracker or any weapons yet, uh, so we'll be able to show that once we get there. The D-pad cycles through weapons. Uh, left stick, obviously you move. Right stick, you look up and down. Uh, your triggers, your R1, is to raise uh, your motion tracker and hold it there and R2 is to like melee or uh, fire. And like I said, we just started doing playing this game, so I don't have any of those items yet. So we're gonna go and encounter all that. And uh, I turned the shower on before I saved it for fun. We will turn it off. So, yes, interacting with objects is super easy. All right, well, let's do this. Um, and to use the touchpad, by the way, that opens up your map just like this. And that's pretty much it. Alright, let's see what's next. The controls, by the way, are very fluid. They're they're really sensitive, too. And by the way, this is with the first first patch that they released, so I was able to um, fix that because there were some minor bugs, apparently, they said. Which I will not talk about or go over because they're fixed. Alright, now I don't really know where to go, so I'm just going to explore a bit. Alright, well, we can't go that way. Looks like there's a ladder that way. Oh, there's a chair this way. It looks like captain's area. Hmm. Oh, sweet. Real people. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. Hmm. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. The so lip acting kind of seems one. off. <laughs> the case with a like they're animatronics. Stage, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. Some... That was insensitive. The voice acting is at least good. Your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, so you're Ripley. I think you're Samuels. Ripley's He's probably been daughter. I'll catch and up she's with your you. mom? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. I have to uh, do a little bit of reading. I just got really excited and jumped right into it. So this is where you can link into computers and read emails to Taylor. To scroll, you just use R on the uh, the right analog. So let's see here. Hey Taylor, in case you missed. Do -do -do -do, if you can read this. Nice. So, Whalen Yutani's cargo vessel, the Stroma, went missing. No one knows where it is. Where the cargo or crew is, and we all know what the cargo is. Now, don't we? Here are all the, uh, the crew members Dallas, Ash, Kane, Ripley, Lambert. Freaking awesome. With Parker and Brett. Um, this is cool that they go into so, so much detail. And if um, you pre-ordered it, you get the uh, Nostromo edition, which is cool. Where you can see the old crew. The original crew. 
Alright, well, let's figure out... Ooh, anything green, you can search by clicking X. And you can take stuff in here. I have no idea what that stuff does yet. I'm assuming upgrade weapons and all that jazz. But, yes. Nothing green. Oh, it's... yeah. That's kind of creepy. All right. Oh, door's locked. Well, at least they're doing a good job, kind of managing where you can go and where you can't go. Because I'll just explore everywhere if they let me. What is in here? I have to say, the graphics are pretty damn amazing. It feels like I'm in a ship. An HR Geiger ship or an alien ship. The noises are really good, too. Uh, I want to climb up there, but it won't let me. <laughs> is it bad that my natural reaction is I want to go to dark places? Oh, there's someone else. Medical facilities. Probably not where I want to be. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. A well-maintained ship. His I lips move a little bit better when he talks. <laughs> yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. Alright. Speak to Samuels. Right now we're just... All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Oh, cool. Assuming you can probably hide in there and do something crazy like that later. Alright, well, how do I get to the bridge? I'm assuming it's back of this way. Wait. Is it this way? There we go. That is the bridge. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. <laughs> That's what they always say. SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. There's my briefing document. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV 7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, that does not Marshall. sound good. <laughs> Mar Marshall, this is the Torrin. Say again. Okay, so obviously there's a serious situation, but we're gonna go there anyways. All right. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Yeah, little does she know. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. <laughs> Sweet. That would be really awesome to do. Do we actually get to here? No. My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> Holy Just crap. Wow. <laughs> that was intense. Taylor! Respond! Anybody! Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be an emotional, stressful ride. I can already feel it. <laughs> Hiding is only ever a temporary solution. I love the retro VHS effects. They're, they're pretty neat. They make it feel like an authentic alien movie. Although it's loading now and taking quite a bit of time to load. There we go. Did our helmet shatter? No. Good. <laughs> Came from that way. Find help. Alright, now we're dressed in normal clothing. Awesome. Let's go find help. You're probably going to hear me scream if an alien jumps out. <laughs> I'm playing this in the pitch black dark. Yes, we want to save. We're only going to probably be able to play about an hour of this tonight, so I apologize if you want to see more, but definitely check back and we will be doing more. Oh. Okay, let's not go that way. Perhaps. 
over here first. Is there anything I can grab in here? Anything? You can tell I like to scour levels. Thing is, things look like they glow a little bit. So if they can interact, they glow. I hear something beeping, and I don't know where it's coming from. Shit. Okay, well. Creepy. Knew this was gonna happen. It's awesome that the first thing we wind up doing when we get on the ship is going and starting to crawl through their ventilation system. Absolutely ridiculous. bit more lit over here. <laughs> There's a green thing to interact with. Computer. The hell's going on in this ship? Folder corrupted. Decommissioning. Engineering team. Hmm. Wow, so this place is being decommissioned and shut down. Alright, it's corrupted. Well, oh, that wasn't much. Got a couple injectors. Looks like things are all barricaded in here. Never a good sign. Nope. Well, let's go through this death trap in a room. Awesome. <laughs> God damn. You said it, woman. Well, oh, oh. help. So yeah, press and hold this the circle button to get inventory, and you can move things around. But since we only have a flare, that's pretty much it. And to activate it, you just press square. Crazy. Well, anyway, through this, am I stuck already? Come on. Hold the, the right analog all the way down to crawl. Hmm. 
No way it's gonna work in jail. Moving. Oh, up. This is plain creepy. Okay. Let's keep moving. Hello? Anyone here? This is really creepy. In here. I'm gonna rip that up. Awesome. I feel like we're gonna be getting our motion tracker soon because I hear it. Sweet save point. That takes a while to save, so you can't just do this in the middle of a battle, I feel like. Access this terminal, see what's going on. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I moved it. <laughs> oh, sweet. Zero three four zero. Alright, let's go down to that room. Zero four three zero. Oh, it's this one. Did I... Zero, three, four, zero? Oh, there we go. My bad. Well, what's good in here? Some scrap. Blueprint? Sweet. You have found a blueprint. Use. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. So this is pretty in depth. So you can build a med kit. I can't do too much. I'm 
and you do not have enough to build anything. But this is good to know. Oh, maybe we can. Sweet. Alright, cool. This is great to know. It's kind of a cool uh, crafting system. We have a med kit now. You just press square to activate it. Cool. Is that it though in here? Seriously? Thought there would be a little bit more. Watch an alien just pop out and kill me. That would be funny. Let's see something green over here. Nope, that's just my eyes playing a trick on me. Well, I'm gonna do one quick save. Just because I'm OCD like that. Alright. Let's figure out where we need to go. Doesn't anything here work? Didn't this do it earlier? I totally missed that. Glad I came back in here. Is there anything else I missed? Somewhere. We got me. F you. <laughs> Trust no one. Keep out. It's life for rent. These people are pretty crazy. Ooh, what's that? Sweet. Store power. That is the goal. Give him any tips. Hmm.
I would not think we would have to backtrack all that way. Would we? Look at the map. It's hard to tell what marker is what on the map. Yeah, I assume there would be something in here. Son of a bitch. We just have to read the computer. They're people? It just got real. I thought I heard voices. Alright, we're gonna save one more time. Definitely feel isolated. <laughs> See that? We're not smart. Not touching live electrical wires. What the hell happened here? This is huge. This is a space flight terminal. This would be creepy. Very creepy. Passenger alarms. They don't want people in there if you have to use the ion torch. It means there's aliens in there. I've seen enough of alien movies to know that. Well, well let's explore. Damn it, the door's locked. Looks like we need to get in there. Wow, well, they're locking us down. Looks 
fuck? Yeah, you do need help. That was creepy. First of all, pulling the plug. So, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. <laughs> oh, this is a little star. Alright. To all space late employees. Hmm. Excuse me. That's never good. <laughs> Things are getting interesting. Alright, well. What's this? Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Wow. Definitely am curious to see what happened here. But, I will have to say, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I am tired. This is extremely fun. I am kind of freaked out. Uh, and I'm going to have to resume this tomorrow, unfortunately. But I hope you enjoyed seeing the level so far. We still haven't got our motion tracker. We're going to get that soon, I swear, um, and find out what's going on here. So, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next uh, live play of uh, Alien Isolation on PlayStation 4. And this is Michael, signing off. Have a great night, everyone.